Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, Foxtrot Adventures. My name is Mike. This is my friend Eric, and behind the camera is my friend Bill. Please join us as we explore the more than 60 miles of trails at 38 parks on Lake Metro Parks properties located throughout Lake County, Ohio. Mike, today we're at Blair Ridge Park. It's another small park, 63, 64 acres. Uh, what's special about this property is originally owned by a uh, conservation, conservationist James Storr. He bequeathed it to Lake Metro Parks. He originally named this area Walden II. Small park, got a nice pond, has some pretty unique stuff. Uh, we'll talk about more once we get in here. Let's go check it out, Eric. Alright, so I, I've never been here before and, and I'm following Eric's lead and uh, he's, uh, he's gotten us lost. Uh, but apparently there's some really cool fungus out here and he's taking some pictures of, of the fungus. So uh, the pond is just to the north of us here. So we're trying to circle our way back into the pond. Oh, there he is. There he is now. Now he's complaining he's got mud all over him because he, he led us astray. <laughs> Which means he's trying to keep the deer out. So he puts the fence up around it. And if you notice out here, the, the, all the, the vegetation is kind of eaten to the ground. Whereas in there, it's very hardy. So those bushes or the plants in there might be something special to him. I don't know. So the conservationists that own the property here put this up, probably. Probably. I mean, you can see from the age, it's, not, it's nothing new. And they refer to it as a deer enclosure? Exclosure. Exclosure. It, it keeps it, them it out. excludes the deer out, of, out from the area. Yeah, it looks like they're getting in now. It looks like it. Okay, as I mentioned before, James Storer, Storer was a philanthropist. He was a conservationist. Uh, he was also blind. One of the things he did when he was living on his property is as his uh, guide dogs uh, met, their, met their demise, he actually buried him here on the property. So this actually is a little kind of a, a small pet cemetery for his dogs.
are at the end of uh, Blair Ridge Park. Uh, again, it's, it's a very special area. Uh, like I said, James Storer, Storer was uh, the original person who owned this property. Uh, he owned Storer Broadcasting. Like I said, he was well known for being a nature philanthropist. Uh, this entire piece of property, you, you can see it's just, it's a special area. Uh, if you didn't notice, in, between the still photos and some of our video, uh, there's a bell tower with a clock uh, uh, that was built in, in memory or in honor of, of his wife, uh, which you can see here's part of the Carillion Bells uh, that goes along with it. So the property itself is really cool. As far as hiking, it's just very limited. It's barely a, a tenth of a mile around part of the pond. One other thing, well, before he starts talking, one thing I want to mention, if you didn't notice, I, I, I forego the usual Yellowstone hat that I normally wear. This is my Fox Trot Adventures hat, compliment to my buddy Mike. Looks good on the air. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's lost his sense of direction. <laughs> so we're looking at the map, and I'm thinking to myself, I've never been here before, but Eric has. I'll follow Eric. Well, he uh, he looked at the, uh, the uh, line of the the trail on the map and he says let's go the other way and you can obviously <laughs> see the beginning of a trail that takes you into the trees yeah don't take that trail to the <laughs> south of the pond uh, unless you want to see some really cool fungus uh, a deer exclosure there uh, exclosure exclosure deer exposure. yeah uh, so I, I thought this place was really cool Eric I'm really glad that we got to come and visit it today the uh, uh, pet cemetery if you will that uh, that he created over there it was a great tribute to to the canines and it looked like he yes. liked german shepherds yes i too like german shepherds i've heard that good animals yes uh so that was really neat the pond's absolutely uh beautiful it's a really a nice place to come and and uh just relax i think and uh this tribute to his wife over here this is just absolutely fantastic and i really like the clock on on the thing up here it just tells the tale of time so uh Definitely, I, I think that uh, that's something we should all keep in mind and, and get out here and enjoy nature and and uh, stop stop in at the park here. Check it out. You're getting real deep. We aim to uh, get deep here at Foxtrot Adventures, and we hope you'll join us next Wednesday at 7 o'clock. I'm getting <laughs> out of here. <laughs>